I think the outdoors, um, meeting new people in a, in a fun setting and environment is just what a beautiful way to spend your weekend. With a mud tire, you basically want a big meaty lug, uh, fairly well spaced out so you can grab kind of the terrain underneath the mud and uh, get you pulled through those swampy areas. Uh, also another tire that we'd be able to use would be a swamp light, uh, also good in, in muddy, mucky conditions, but uh, swamp light also can kind of carry you through most any terrain for the most part. With some uh, tires out there, the, the lugs are fairly, fairly close in the, in the pattern on the tire, uh, which sometimes can be a problem in self-cleaning, getting the mud out of the tread quicker. Uh, there's definitely some tires in there that uh, you know, have a self-cleaning feature to the tread, uh, therefore getting the mud out of the tread quicker, you're getting more traction and uh, getting through your muddy, swampy, whatever kind of terrain you're going through quicker. Be it riding with friends at a poker run, organizing a demo day with others, spending some time working the trails, or having a laugh at the social, joining an ATV club will open up all kinds of new opportunity for fun and friendship. Think about it. Join your local ATV club and get involved. There's a lot of good people who ride ATVs. After running dirt and mud, we need to treat our rides right and give them a proper cleaning to keep them running and looking good. Here's some advice from the experts who warn you about going crazy with the pressure washer on your radiator. First thing they should do when they get off the machine is make sure that they uh, power wash the unit first. Uh, use a really good quality uh, spray wash, which Yamaha does have. It's the uh, Quality Care from Yamalu. It's a non-corrosive and biodegradable product, so it's safer for the environment and it works perfect for these machines. Precautions when they should uh, start power washing the machine is the radiator. Uh, what they have to do is uh, be a fair distance away from the rad. If they're too close to the uh, radiator with the power wash, what they'll end up doing is bending the little metal fins that are very delicate on the machine. The rad does uh, tend to sometimes plug up with dirt and so they have to get on both sides, but do stay a fair distance away. Summary for cleaning the unit is getting into all the nooks and crannies of the unit, uh, being careful with the radiator, not getting too close, making sure that you clean your winch out thoroughly, not leaving any mud in there to dry up and harden, and to make sure that you clean out the areas of your brake pads, and clean out the areas where any grease nipples might be. Beware of blasting the rad, and remember, by keeping your ATV clean after every ride, it will be ready to go for the next one. The scenery that we see out here on the trails that uh, the ordinary person on the street wouldn't see is just mind-numbing. I mean, it, there's, there's scenery out here that people that live in, in our local area don't even realize that's out here. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Next on Go Riding, ATVers rally to battle breast cancer. 